Hey there guys, it's your good pal Wiggly, and welcome back to more Let's Play Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Blind. In the last episode, we saw the dramatic conclusion to the fantastic Episode 3, Turnabout Samurai, and in this episode, we are moving on to Episode 4, Turnabout Goodbyes. What have we here? I am beyond excited to see where this story is going to go. It's been, what, 15 years? About that, yes. 15 years is a long time to wait. You can't imagine how much I've suffered. You've suffered? But now, the perfect opportunity has presented itself. At last, I shall have my revenge. What? Merry Christmas. Jesus, okay. <laughs> Damn, on Christmas, though? Come on. Oof. What? What? No! No, 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 no. Edgeworth? What? Dude. Why? Oh, no. <laughs> Okay, um... Edgeworth killed a man. That... sucks. Um... December 25th, 10.08 a.m. Right in Co-Law offices. Well, actually, he looked kinda... I'm, I'm probably huffing mad amounts of copium here, but he... he looked kinda surprised. At the gun. Well, he was either surprised or in shock. I guess that face could mean... Okay, I'm I'm huffing copium, probably. Also, it's Christmas now. I could have uploaded this episode on Christmas, but obviously I didn't know. So, unfortunate. Hey, hey Nick. Hi, Maya. Do you know if there are any good waterfalls around here? Waterfalls? Dare I ask why? She wants to do some training, right? Duh, Nick. Isn't it obvious? I need a waterfall to stand under, preferably a freezing one, some meditation, yeah. Oh, is that part of your spirit medium training? Of course, except I've been slacking off lately. I need to brave the elements and be forged anew under the rushing spring waters. Haven't you been doing pretty good channeling Mia for like a whole day? Um, okay. I don't know what I don't know about any falls per se, but Gord Lake is pretty close. Well, that's convenient because the murder we just saw was on a lake. Oh, darn. Sorry, but then's the breaks. Couldn't you just take a cold shower or something? Good idea. Okay, yeah, just meditate in the shower. You know what? I I meditate in the shower myself in a sort, I guess. Shower thoughts. So much for rushing spring waters. Next in the news, a large unidentified animal was sighted at Gord Lake. The town is buzzing with excitement. Locals are calling it Gordy. <laughs> In a tip of the hat to Nessie, the Loch Ness Monster. That's cute. Though its namesake, Nessie proved to be a hoax. Locals are confident their Gordy is the real deal. Okay. Local Loch Ness Monster. Got it. Ah, oh, boring. You would think it is, Phoenix. What, what excites you? Phoenix, what are your hobbies? We don't know enough about you outside of work. Can't they show real news for a change? Nick? The water pressure's kind of low in that shower. You want more pressure, huh? Why don't you go down to the fire department and have them spray you with the hose? Good idea, Nick. No, Maya, that shit will, like, take off your skin. Apparently, Fey blood is no aid in detecting sarcasm. <laughs> we interrupt this program to bring you a special news bulletin. Strange occurrences continue at Gord Lake, but this time, it's murder! <laughs> Damn. Gord Lake again? The body of a man was found in the lake early this morning. A suspect was apprehended. Sources inside the police department revealed why... Why is it that when I hear a TV voice, I automatically go for, like, the 50s, like, TV voice, which isn't really an accent people had. They just put that on so you could understand their, like, enunciation better. Fun fact, by the way, people in the 50s did not talk like that. The mics were just shit, so they had to enunciate like that. That the suspect's name is Mile Edgeworth, age 24. Edgeworth was an upcoming prosecutor known for his skill and connections. He was guaranteed a long and rewarding career. Has he thrown it all away? Uh, 
Edgeworth? What's going on? Edgeworth would never do something like... Nick? Yipes! M Maya! The firemen yelled at me when I called them. <laughs> well, yeah, because that shit'll, like, hurt you really bad. We've got bigger things to worry about than that. They arrested Edgeworth! What? You mean the prosecutor? Yeah, he's a suspect. In a murder. What? When? Where? Whom? Why? How? We're gonna be his defense attorney. Oh my god. I, I don't know. Let's go find out, Nick. Okay. Since we know about it beforehand, I assume that the idea is that we are not, like, we, we are going to be his defense attorney. Because if, if they wanted to present it like we had to figure out that Edgeworth did it, then they would, like, save that for later in the case. But obviously that's what this is leading up to. And I'm excited by that prospect. Well, what should we do? What do you mean? Let's investigate. We should talk to Mr. Edgeworth and check out the crime scene. You're right. We need some. We need more information. Same aimlessness and confusion for later. Well, got any good ideas? Not really. I do my best thinking when I'm standing underneath a waterfall. I see. <laughs> We're really still on that, huh? Hey, Maya. I'm a lawyer. You know, I think it's developing a nice luster. That, that's cool that there's like situational dialogue for this. I'll look at your badge later, Nick. We've got work to do. I suppose you're right. That's cool. I like that. Also, it's here, and I've never had to use it. I'm waiting for the moment where I actually have to use it. Literally every single time this has happened. Um, or rather, every single time that like I, I see it in the menu or I have to present evidence, I consider it. And it's just this red herring just sitting there. Uh, detention center. December 25, Detention Center, Visitor's Room. Why are we working on Christmas? I mean, I guess Phoenix is spending Christmas... Does He really doesn't have anybody else, huh? Neither of them do. You know, Nick, we've all been in here one time or another, haven't we? I guess it comes with the territory. Oh yeah, Phoenix was on the other side, right? At one point. I'm not sure it's something we should mention to too many people. Probably not. Hey... Ah! Hey, Edgeworth, come back! Oh, God. What are you doing here? Nick, I don't think he's in a very good mood. I assume not. Well, he's in detention. Were you in a good mood when you were here? So you've come to laugh at the fallen attorney? Then laugh. Laugh! Well, why aren't you laughing? Nick... Should we be laughing? Nah, it's a trick. Laugh and he'll get mad, or burst into tears. Edgeworth, we don't have so much free time we can spend it coming down here to laugh at you. Yes, you do. Actually, he's right. I hoped you wouldn't come. I didn't want you to see me. Not like this. I didn't want to see you like this either, believe me. This is quite a surreal situation. Um, so, uh, what happened, dude? Edgeworth, tell me what happened. Why should I? What are you going to do about it? Duh! We're going to help you, that's what! Help me. You? Don't be ridiculous. Sorry? You're a novice. You've only been in three trials. H hey Sure, you got lucky and won all three. Against you, the undefeatable prosecutor, though, like, for two of them. But your luck's bound to run out someday. You need real skill, right? Experience. Nick, see, he's insulting you. Nick, why am I always the one who has to get angry? Okay. Gord Lake. The murder took place at Gord Lake, correct? Yes, late last night. The lake is a long way from your offices and the courthouse. Why were you down there? I see no need to tell you. Oh my god. Ah, uh, Edgeworth. M Mr. Edgeworth! You... you didn't really... Gordy. Huh? I went to see Gordy. I don't believe that, bro. Gordy? What's that? I'll tell you later. Why won't Edgeworth talk to us? 
<sighs> okay, well. Um, I guess I'll go check it out. See you later, Edgeworth. Jeez. December 25th, Gord Lake Park entrance. This is where it happened? Yeah, Gord Lake is in the middle of this park. I can see some police walking around in here. Questioning people, probably. Hey, isn't that Detective Gumshoe over there? Hey, it's the guy. Well, pal? There's enough of us here. Found Anyone found anything? S sorry, sir. Nothing. Idiot! The trial's tomorrow! Oh yeah, Gumshoe's totally wanting to help Edgeworth out, right? We need clues! On the double! But, but sir... There weren't any clues. That's why we arrested that attorney, Mr. Edgeworth. It's clear, sir. He's the one who... Shut up! Just you try saying that again. I'll... I'll... I'll make you sorry if you do. So just... Just get out of my face, pal. Y yes sir. Damn. Detective Gumshoe is kind of scary today. Recruits? Pah. Ah. Eek. Hey, you're that hairy guy. Harry? No, I'm not. You still don't know? Dude. Right. Phoenix Wright. Will he ever learn my name? And just what are you doing here, pal? Investigating? Huh? Um, well, yes, I suppose. Well, I'm here to help. Ask me anything you want. Bring it. All right. At least Gumshoe believes in us. I love Gumshoe. I don't think any character's grown on me more over the course of his game than Gumshoe. He seems different than usual. I wonder what's up. Um, Mr. Edgeworth hasn't actually asked us to defend him yet. Huh? Oh, you, you don't say. Oh, poor guy. Um, Detective Gumshoe, do you know what happened here? Huh? You don't know, pal? No. Wow, okay, Mr. Head in the Fluffy Pink Clouds lawyer. Head in the... Huh? Never mind, I'll tell you. It happened last night, about 15 minutes after midnight. There was a boat out on Gord Lake. In that boat were two men. One of those men shot the other with a pistol. And the shooter... Or sorry, oh my god. And the shooter was Mr. Edgeworth? A cop who arrived on the scene arrested him. How did they get in there so fast? Well, there was a witness. A witness? How do you witness... I mean... What? I'm, I'm trying to figure out how you could witness something. I mean, I guess maybe they weren't that far from shore. When the report came in, we raced to the lake. A witness? You don't think Mr. Edgeworth is a murderer, do you? Absolutely not! It's impossible! I don't care if there's a witness either. I don't believe a lick of it. R right Who cares what, what the witness says? I care. You really believe in him, don't you, detective? Of course I do. But the police are pretty sure he's the killer. Nobody's even really taking that invest this investigation that seriously. Oh no! After all the help Mr. Edgeworth has been to us, hard to imagine that no one's standing up to take his side. Well, at least you are, Detective. At least you are. Aw. Oh. Do you know who will be Mr. Edgeworth's defense attorney in tomorrow's trial? He hasn't got one yet. What? The trial is tomorrow, isn't it? Well, I don't know the whole story, but apparently no one he's been talking to will take his case. We will. Wh why not? Mr. Edgeworth won't tell me. When you guys showed up, I figured he'd ask you to defend him. Unfortunately not. Well, pal, then you've got a job to do. Help out, Mr. Edgeworth. Prove that badge you wear isn't just some fancy piece of metal. Prove it to me, pal. Show me you're an attorney. Okay. Who is this witness? Er, sorry, pal. That's confidential. Anyway, the witness saw everything, apparently. I'm sure they'll turn up at the trial tomorrow. Was there only that one witness? Yep. It was pretty cold out on the lake last night. And it was Christmas Eve, after all, true. Still, we're being thorough. You never know when you're going to turn up another witness. That's why we're here today, checking things out. So far, we're coming up empty. Oh, it's Christmas today, I'd forgotten. What are you getting me for Christmas, Nick? <laughs> Talk to Santa. Damn, dude, come on. Get her a burger or something. Alright, um, I'm an attorney. 
That badge! You're showing that to the wrong guy, pal. You gotta show that to someone who needs it. True. Okay. Sorry about that. Alright. Um... Do we have any new dialogue options for you? No? Uh... Did I... Not... Oh, I should probably examine the area. Maybe it would help. The sign says Gord Lake Nature Park. This place is full of families picnicking, picnicking on the weekend. But, no waterfall. <laughs> You're still on this? Not many picnickers come here for spiritual training, Maya. Okay. Sorry, I had to adjust my, like, my mic a little bit. I feel winter's chill from the bare leaf trees today. <sighs> what is it about winter that turns people into poets? It's a beautiful time. I don't know, but my toes are starting to feel numb. Yes, my poetry has an effect on some people. <laughs> um, trash can? No. Dang. Is that it? Wow. Okay. Um, can we go any further in, please? Wait a minute. Can I defend you? Your attorney's badge. Edgeworth. Let me defend- Wow! I was literally just saying- I was just- Just saying that I wanted a time to actually use it. I cannot believe that! Oh my god, the coincidence, dude. <laughs> Good one, right. But I'm not that hard up. Not yet. What, what do you mean by that? Me? Trust a wet-behind-the-ears lawyer with only three trials under his belt? Never! But no one else will take your case, dude. W what My case is near hopeless, right? Every defense attorney I've talked to has turned me down. What? Simply put, they were afraid they'd lose. It occurred to me that it might be my fault they, that they lacked confidence. After all, I did get every single one of their clients declared guilty, that's true. But... We don't mind. We we can put that behind us, man. I don't believe it. Regardless, I don't want you involved in this. You in particular, I cannot ask to do this. Why? Why? Yeah, did you do it? Edgeworth, this is really hard for me to ask. But you didn't do it, right? Right? Think what you will. That is so... So dodgy. There's no way. There's no way he did it. The other dude had to have been sniped or something, right? Something weird. Something funky. I see that that's the only other like alternative that I can think of. And there was a witness. And they were like far out in the middle of the lake, right? So like a sniper scope could you could be a witness, right? I guess. I don't know. I'm spitballing here. I have only one request. Huh? Stay out of this case. Why? But but Nick is trying to help you. I know. I know that. But I don't want your help, okay? Why not? Look, just go away and leave me alone. Damn. Nick. Mr. Edgeworth did it, didn't he? No. Maya, let's go investigate elsewhere. But Nick, he didn't do it. I'm 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 100 on board that he did not do it. I I think he was going to. Probably. Or 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 maybe they did a little bit of like shifty red herring editing during that scene we saw. And a dude was going to kill Edgeworth. And then he shot himself and is trying to frame Edgeworth for murder. And the picture that we saw was Edgeworth picking up the gun after the fact. Maybe. That, that is a plausible possibility, I guess. Um, ooh. It, is it true? No one will take Mr. Edgeworth's case? Yeah. He's a bit of a celebrity. If we defended him and lost, your reputation would be sure to suffer. What's more, 
The case against him is, well, it's pretty solid. I suppose it would be if they have a witness. Yeah, I mean, if it's just a witness and one dead person and one accused, you know. Hey, pal! Don't tell me you're going to turn your back on him, too! Remember the Steel Samurai case? I sure do. It literally just happened. Mr. Edgeworth helped you get your client declared innocent. That's true. He did. I... I know. I went to Edgeworth. I tried. He really doesn't want us to represent him. Especially not us, he said. What? Well, well that doesn't make any sense, pal. You should have heard him talking about you after that trial. He kept saying, right, 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 over and over. Uh-oh. Nick? I'm not sure that's a good sign. No, that's a... He did say unnecessary feelings and, like, funny ship bait aside, like... I wonder if us shaking his world affected him that heavily. Neither am I. Why wouldn't he want your help? I don't get it. Detective Gumshoe, sir. I, I, I read that voice half in Gumshoe's voice and then flipped out of it. That was weird. What? Find something? Um, no, sir. Not yet. But there was a call from the precinct. They want to hold an investigation briefing. A briefing? Right. I'm off. Oh. Sorry, pal. I guess you heard. I gotta go. Any last things you want to ask me about before I head back? Um. Both of these things are really important. Um. The autopsy report is very important. Well, yes. Do you have any information on the victim? Sorry, they haven't worked up an autopsy report yet. I'm still waiting for it myself. Actually, say, if you get the time, drop by the precinct. We can talk more there, pal. Sure, sounds good, man. You're not coming back, detective? Oh, that was Phoenix. Um, probably not, pal. So, what should we do if we have something to talk to you about? Ah, oh, right. Here, I'll show you how to get to the precinct. Come down and see me anytime. Nice, okay. Sounds good, man. Oh, hey, Detective Gumshoe. Wh what? Um, we'd like to take a look around in the park. Can we walk around? Yeah, no problem, pal. You got my permission. Nice. You know, Nick, I think there's something to be said for talking to people when they're busy. <laughs> yeah, they don't have time to think about not giving you information. Right. Now let's get, now let's get investigating. Okay. Let's head in. Uh, Gord Lake Public Beach. Samurai dogs! Okay. Wowzers! This is Gord Lake? Yep. I'm not sure it warrants a Wowzers, though. Mmm, probably not. But hey, look at that snack stand! Samurai dogs? That was the first thing I noticed, too. I want a samurai dog, please! I don't think anybody's working on Christmas, Maya. I bet they're great! With a name like Samurai Dog, how could they not be? They're a little behind the times, though. The kids are all into the pink princess now. I mean, like, you know... Nope. <laughs> uh, party poppers. Huh? Someone left some poppers here. You know, just pull the string. And it goes pop. Yeah, I know the ones. You see them a lot around New Year's. Hey Nick, they might be a clue. Let's take them. Come on, admit it. You just, you just want to pop them, right? Was it that obvious? Poppers. Hmm. I mean, we may as well, right? I suppose it couldn't hurt. Huh? Where'd they go? Into my pocket. A <laughs> uh, classic party noisemaker. Pull the string and it goes bang. Not very clue-worthy. Interesting. I guess we could, like... We could use those to prove that... This is where the witness was, maybe? A lineup of plastic benches. I guess the idea is you buy a dog and eat it here. I doubt anyone would sit here and eat on a day like this. Except maybe Maya, if she had a samurai dog. The trash can is empty. At least the place is well maintained. Okay. Huh, I almost didn't see that signpost. Left boat docks, right exit. Okay. A hot dog stand. It's closed. The Christmas fringe looks a little half-baked. The banner reads Samurai Dogs. Somebody needs to redecorate. I don't know. It looks okay to me for, you know, a hot dog stand decorated for Christmas. 
Okay. Wow, Gord Lake is really big. Yeah. I mean, I guess with the shore, you can see the other side. It's not like Lake Michigan big. So I guess a witness could have seen. Say, Nick, why is it called Gord Lake? Oh. Well, a long time ago, they used to grow gourds here. Whoa, no way! I was sure it was because the lake looked like a gourd when viewed from above. You know, like an hourglass shape? Well, it is shaped like a gourd, actually, but that's just a coincidence. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Well, sounds good, man. Okay. Well, I guess... Oh, we can go into the woods or the boat rental shop. Well, I'm sure we'll meet somebody at the boat rental shop, right? That's probably the witness, now that I think about it. They had to get the boat from somebody. Nick, what is this place? A boat rental shop. Closed for Christmas, it seems. I guess a murder taking place on one of the boats won't be good for business either. Or I guess it could be the victim. I guess, hypothetically. Boats. I've never ridden on a boat. Really? Well, how about we go on one when the trial gets finished? Hey, good idea. You bet. Maybe not here. Maybe not the boats that somebody was murdered on. Guys? A small boat rental shop. Doesn't look like anyone is around. They're probably closed because it's Christmas. True. Okay. Well. There are some boats floating at the dock. Was one of these boats used in the murder, I wonder? Nick? Huh? I changed my mind. I don't really want to go for a boat ride. Exactly, Maya. You and I are on the same wavelength again. Okay. Um, well. There's more forest off that way. I doubt I'd find any helpful clues in there. Okay. So, that's that. Um, let's go to the woods. Ah. Oh, I get it. Okay. So this is where our witness was. Camping out. Probably looking for the Loch Ness Monster thing with, yeah, with the mic and the camera. Yeah, okay, sure. I like it here, Nick. Look, someone's camping. They've got guts camping at the scene of a murder. I mean, they probably didn't know. Hey, hey, Nick. If they were camping here last night, they might know something about the murder. That's got to be the witness, right? That's true. Good call, Maya. Let's go talk to them. Okay. Uh, well, let's see... What's up with this camera? The camera has a mic and some sort of attachment. It must take pictures when triggered by a noise. Okay. Wow, cool. Let's try it out. <coughs> Hi, I'm Nick. Maybe I'm not saying it loud enough. Hey, I'm Nick! <laughs> huh. Nick! Will you stop that? <laughs> Maybe it's broken? D don't kick it. Maybe it isn't set to respond to voices. Well, what then? These things? The party poppers? What? I thought that was going to be evidence. Well, it responded. Yeah! Hey! Oh, oh is this a... Do I have to do a cut... Like a southern... Hey, you! Get your hands off of that! I, that's so bad. Eek! What in the Sam... That is totally a southern. What in the Sam Hill? Look what you done now! There goes a whole roll of film. Ah, oh, what? What? Huh? Sorry! Sorry's nice, but it don't pay my bills. Oh, this is so bad. I'm so sorry. Y'all know how much a roll of that film costs? Uh, I'll pay you back. What were y'all thinking setting off a party popper in a place like this? Uh, well... What? Don't try and play stupid with me just cause you think I'm some country bumpkin. Yeah, I know what- I know how all y'all yanks think yanks. I say the- I say those southern folks talk with that exaggerated drawl why they must be dumb. Well, let me tell you, just cause I might be dumb don't mean we all are. <laughs> You're funny, okay? N nick help and who are you now her chaperone yeah uh no rather uh we're sort of friends just figure out what y'all are gonna say and for and say it for bejesus sake god i'd rather sit uh, sit through one of papa's drolls than listen to you stutter all day this is really hard for me to do guys oh my god oh boy i guess we should pay it 
I guess we should pay her for the film. Watch it! Yes, ma'am. On second thought, I'll pay later. I'm really sorry. Okay. Um. Hi, Miss Southern Afro. What's your name? Or what's happened? What happened, I think was the question. I don't know why. Was I just subconsciously being like, what's your name? Um. What? Can't you see I'm changing the film on my camera here? Someone, I'm not naming any names, but someone used up a whole roll. Sorry. That didn't work. I wonder if I have anything to show her that would get her attention. Do I? Oh, well, we have this menu. Um, your name. Oh, that that's why. I just kind of conflated these two. Um, what? Can't you see I'm changing the film on my camera here? Oh, okay. Uh, I'm... I'm an attorney! Yeehaw! I Earth, this is my badge. Huh? Aren't badges supposed to be all shiny and impressive? You a cop or something? Um, I'm a lawyer. Wh what Y'all ain't gonna try and pull one of them lawsuits on me over that film now? No. <laughs> Cause I'll have y'all know I'm a fighter and I wrestled meaner looking things than you. No, no, that's not it at all. We're here investigating a murder that took place here on the lake. A murder? Sounds cool. Why didn't y'all say that in the first place? Go ahead, ask me anything you like. Finally, some cooperation. You too, y'all can come out of hiding now. I won't bite hard. <laughs> I like I like her, she's funny. Come to think of it, where did Maya get to? Uh, so, sorry. I, I was feeling a little overwhelmed, the culture gap and all. Jeez. Never you mind, honey. I can talk. I can talk yank for you if it um, if it pleases you. Th thanks. I think I'll be okay. Great then. I'm lot lot of heart. <laughs> I'm Lotta, lot of heart. But you can call me Lotta. I'm here photographing meteor shower. Photographing me photographing. What the fuck? I'm here for. I almost said it again. I'm here photographing meteor showers for a research project. Mighty pleased to meet you. Okay. Um, hi, Lotta. So what is it you do, Lotta? Huh? Me? <laughs> Y'all don't really want to know that, do you? Actually, I'm a research student at Country U, Country U right in the heart of the heartland. <laughs> I'm from the Midwest, and I know <laughs> what this is making fun of, and it's so funny. Wow, neat. Nick, she's a research student at a university. Country you. Uh, so I hear. So when did, so when did you come up here? Hmm, let me see. I guess it was about three days ago. What are you, what are you, uh, photographing? Why is my brain saying that? What are you photographing? D didn't I tell y'all that already? Meteors! Yep, meteor showers. I don't believe that. It's pointed at the fucking lake. Falling stars. Oh yeah, when was that murder anyway? I ain't seen much television lately. It happened late in the night on Christmas Eve. That's so, Christmas Eve? A man on a boat was shot. Well, wait a minute, yeah. The camera, ha the camera must have film on it. It must have caught it. Yeah, you're the witness. 100%. If, if the mic re reacts to loud noises, it would react to a gunshot. Did you see anything? Well, let me see. A boat, you say? I reckon I might have seen one. Not sure, though. Y'all gotta remember, I've been watching this here lake for a good three days now. I mean, I figured you'd remember a murder, Lotta. I've seen enough boats to choke a mule. Kinda hard remember to remember which I've seen when. Okay. That's quite a camera you have there. Y'all better know it. It's German made. A genuine so Solingen. I'm, I don't know. Isn't that where they make knives? <laughs> um. So what's that device you have stuck to the camera? Huh? Device? Your camera went off all by itself when I fired my party popper. Oh, that? That mic triggers the shutter whenever it detects certain sounds. It's programmed to pick up loud noises right now. A programmable camera? Neat! It says to automatically take a picture when a loud noise is detected. Faces the lake. Okay. That's gonna be pretty integral, I feel. Okay. 
Um. Lotta? Yeah? So your camera, it triggers on loud explosion noises? Uh, yep. Actually, the victim in the case we're researching, he was shot with a pistol. A pistol? Right. Now, wouldn't a gunshot make a similar noise to our party popper? I guess it would. Your camera didn't get a picture of the murder, did it? Hey! Y'all are pretty bright. Huh? I see what you're saying. Tell you what, I'll have a look-see at my film. It would have been a f it would have been a photo taken late last night. I checked him once, don't remember if there was anything on him though. But what if I got something? Could be I could be a witness to a genuine murder. Yeehaw! Oh my god. I'll go check that film. Y'all come back now, you hear? Okay. She went inside her SUV. I guess we should come back later. Okay. Uh, though we have a lot over here to examine as well. Hey, Nick. What, don't tell me you're hungry again. No, no. I was just wondering why are camping pots and pans made of aluminum? They didn't talk about that in any of the law books. <laughs> so there's no law saying they have to be made out of aluminum, then. I'm not having this conversation. <laughs> okay. Um... There's food and some magazines on the sheet. It takes a pretty tough skin to camp in this cold. The sign says no camping. Funny place to pick to funny place to pick to pitch your tent. True. Wait, what if the sign says no setting tents on fire? I don't think they have signs like that. <laughs> oh. Uh the woods. The trees grow quite thick here. Further back, the trees fade into their shadow where the sunlight can't reach them. Okay. Anything else other than the SUV? No? Okay. This SUV has seen better days. It's dented all over. I can't believe anyone would drive their car down here. True. Was she like, she drove through the thicket? Good lord. This camera is rigged to respond to noise, but it only responds to loud noises like a party popper. So, the party popper was louder than Maya, like, screaming at the top of her lungs? I don't know why I find that surprising, but I do. Anyone at the boat rental shop now? No? Okay. Then I guess the only... The only place we have left to go is, um, the criminal affairs department. What is that plushie back there? I guess Detective Gumshoe is still in that meeting. Hey! Thanks for coming down, pal. No problem, man. Detective Gumshoe. We just finished the meeting, for better or for worse. I get the feeling we're in for some bad news. Alright. What happened to the meeting? So how did the meeting go? I can't tell you, pal. You're a lawyer. True. Okay. J true You know, I don't know what to believe anymore. Sure, Mr. Edgeworth's human like you or me. Still. I, I slipped into the country there. I get the feeling that he done something wrong. He wouldn't go hiding it. That's just the kind of guy he is. I mean, I 100% I agree with you. I don't think he did it. Why can't anyone else see that? So they think that Mr. Edgeworth did it. Well, the trial starting tomorrow is scheduled. I see. Um, hey, in the end, you... You did tell us about the meeting. Don't go telling anyone else, pal. D yes, sir. And do me a favor. Stand by, Mr. Edgeworth. He needs help, and you're the ones to help him. I'm sure he's got some reason why he won't talk to us. Th thanks, Detective Gumshoe. Okay. Do you know anything about the victim yet? No, no. Still can't ID him. Has Mr. Edgeworth said anything? Not a word. Okay. Detective Gumshoe, how come you trust Mr. Edgeworth so much? Well, I think that was obvious. We've got a strong working relationship, us two. We trust each other, and that's how it works. A working relationship? See, Mr. Edgeworth always gets his defendants declared guilty every time. Yeah, his methods might be a little extreme at times, but there's a reason. He trusts our investigation, see? He trusts us to get the right man. That's why I work extra hard, pal. We've got to earn that trust he places in us. I see. 
Mr. Edgeworth is a man you can trust. And you have my word on that. I agree. Okay. The autopsy report. I was wondering, did you ever get that autopsy report? Oh, that? Yeah, I made a copy for you. Okay. Time of death, sometime on the 24th or, tw or 25th. Oh, I guess it was around midnight, right? Yeah. Okay. Cause one bullet shot to the heart. Well, maybe... Well, yeah, okay. It was on the evening of the 24th. I guess we don't know that it was around midnight. But the dude said, Merry Christmas. Boom. So, I mean, probably right at... What did that say? Sorry. Uh, cause one bullet shot to the heart. Okay. Thank you. Nick? Huh. Can you show me that photo of the victim? Okay. Don't know who that is. That face. Someone you know? I... I don't know. I just have this feeling that I met him somewhere a long time ago. Okay... Interesting. Um, anything else, Gumshoe? No? Okay. Um, this must be the chief of detectives here. He's glued to his computer screen. What? Gord Lake? Gordy sighted? I don't believe it. Shouldn't you be reading something more important? <laughs> Look at that. That's something else. A poster of a female police officer. Wait, no, that's the latest babes in uniform calendar. My bad. Okay. Okay. Hey, is that the police department's mascot? That's the blue badger. That doesn't look like a badger. It was my idea. I made it. It's my mascot. I see. How nice. I'll get him a signed mascot of the criminal affairs department if it's the last thing I do. Um, good luck. Well, the chief seems like quite the guy. That must be one of the one of the detectives. He's mumbling something to himself. All right, hands against the wall. All he <laughs> is he practicing? Don't even think about escaping. I got eyes in the back of my head. He must be doing imagine tra image training for arrests. Okay. Good lord. Um. These are the these are the detectives' desks. There are computers and files on each one. Funny, they're a lot tidier than I expect. I guess the detectives don't spend a lot of time at their desks. True. Um, anything else? Anything at all? No? Okay. Alright. Um. Is, uh, is Lada done with her, her reviewing of her film? Perhaps? Seems like it. Yep. Hey, y'all! Scott here. Lotta. Wait up a sec, we got bingo! Bingo? My automatic camera took two pictures last night. Hey! Well, this is them, take a look. Okay, so... Are you not the witness, then? If you're just now finding out about these photos? Wait. See, see, he's shooting him with that pistol! It, it looks like that, yes. But you can't really tell who... You can't really tell who that is shooting. Yeah, well, there was enough fog out there last night to strangle a bullfrog. But, you know, seeing these photos reminded me of something. What? I saw the murder happen. I'm a witness. What? Uh, are you serious? So are you not... You're not the witness that we had before that Gumshoe mentioned. Of course. How do you forget? Never mind. Y'all reckon I should tell the cops? Um... I reckon so, or I reckon no. <laughs> um, I mean... Yes, you should. It would suck for us, but morally, yes, you should. I, I reckon so. What's that? Now don't y'all go trying to mock my accent. I'm a sensitive lady. Hey, so I'm off to talk to the cops. Y'all can have this photo. Later. I like Lotta a lot. She's she's very charming. W wait, Lotta. 
What, can't y'all see I'm kinda busy? T tell us what you saw too, please. Nice try, honey, but I wasn't born yesterday. I'm a witness and that means I'm on the side of justice and that means the cops. I'd sooner eat the south side of a northbound skunk than tell you. <laughs> but Lotta, don't let it get your skitties in a bunch. Friends today, enemies tomorrow. Or was that the other way around? No matter, I'm gone. Hey, maybe they'll let me do some testifying. Hot darn. <laughs> she's so funny. She's she's one of like the strongest first impressions I've ever I've gotten from a character in this game. She's so good. She left. Well, that's one more witness. What do we do now, Nick? Well, she saw something. There's not much we can do about it. The question is, what exactly did she see? I guess we'll find out in the trial tomorrow. Lake photo added to the court record. Taken automatically on 1225 at 1215 AM. Okay. There's got to be a reason why it says on the 24th or 25th. But also it says 1215 AM here. So. Hmm. <laughs> okay. What here? Looks like the police have given up their interviewing. Hey! What the Santa? Hello? Ah! N Nick! I think Santa's mad at you! Long time no see, Nick. <laughs> ho ho ho! Long time no see, Nick! Nick, you know Santa? Wow, Nick and Saint Nick! <laughs> hey, I see the connection! Don't be ridiculous. Dude, it's me. Uh, Larry! Hi, dude! What are you doing here? Isn't it obvious? I'm working my day job! I'd sell samurai dogs. No, it's you. Okay. Want one? Gotta get money for dates, you know? My girl- Oh, you've moved on now. Okay. My girl, Kiyonse, deserves the best. Kiyonse? Not another model, I hope. Oh, Kiyonse's a fine, fine woman, Nick. It was her idea that I wear this costume. She was all, you go, girlfriend. <laughs> you know? She bought this costume for me. That That's great, Larry. <laughs> what a guy. Wow, a Santa costume. She must be really nice. Whoa, cute. But Larry, no. Bad. I, if I had a spray bottle, I would immediately stop. Nick, who's she? She's not your... Not my... What? N no she's not. I'm his partner, my F.A. I'm, uh, the little sister. Sister? Wow, Nick, must be tough. Working nine to five, having to take care of a little sister? I mean, kinda. N no I'm not Nick's sister, I'm, N I'm my older sister's little sister. Huh, sounds great. <laughs> I, I love Larry. Larry's so good. I saw a couple of you people in the comments saying that Larry was an unlikable character. No. No. He's he's very stupid, but he's kind of great. He's funny. Don't worry, Maya. He's not listening. Okay. What happened? Hey, Larry. There was a murder here last night. And since you work here, have you heard anything? Nick, you're wasting your time. Last night was Christmas Eve. He was with Kianse, obviously. He wouldn't have been standing out here in the cold. Oof. I think what you just said caught him off guard, Maya. Are you the witness? He's the witness. N no it's just... Kianse's not in town right now. She... She's in Hawaii on a photo shoot. A model. I knew it. Well, anyway, there was a murder here on the lake. The trial's tomorrow. Huh, neat. The defendant is Edgeworth. Miles Edgeworth. Um, Nick? Why would Larry know Edgeworth? Whoa, Nick! You don't mean that, Miles Edgeworth. Old Edgy? You know each other. Okay. Yeah, he's a murder suspect. W whoa Murder? Huh? You know Mr. Edgeworth, Larry? Yeah, of course. Edgy was in the same class as us in grade school. Okay... Interesting. What? Interesting direction to take that. 
Uh, as as interested as I am in hearing about samurai dogs, we got we gotta get more straight to the point here. So Mr. Edgeworth was your classmate, Larry. Yeah, Nick, him, and I all used to hang out all the time. Wow, I never knew. Don't get me wrong, he's always been kind of a stick in the mud. Studying all the time, trying to be like father. We're getting so much, like, secondhand exposition here. Like his father? Yeah, Edgy's pop was a famous defense lawyer back in the day. Then why... Why isn't Edgeworth a defense lawyer? Why is he a prosecuting attorney? Wow. Wait. You said defense lawyer. Yeah. Wait a second. But Mr. Edgeworth is a prosecuting attorney. Exactly. I just said that. What? Edgy's got a proboscis on his knee? Correct. Correct, Larry. Absolutely. No, no. He's a prosecuting attorney. That's like the total opposite of a defense lawyer. Huh. Go figure. He always used to talk about defending the weak who were unable to defend themselves. What happened? Man, he used to go on and on about man's duty... duty, duty. Why can't I say that? Why am I stuck on that word? He used to go on and on about man's duty to... What the hell? To society and all that. What a bore. Duty to society. Duty to society. Sorry. I wonder what changed his mind, though. Do you know Nick? Nick? Why is Nick so quiet? Um, um, tell me about the dogs. Huh? Oh, you mean the samurai dogs? Wh why are they samurai dogs? I, I mean, they kind of look gourd-shaped. Oh, well, originally they were gourd dogs. You know, like guard dogs. <laughs> okay. Ouch. The samurai thing was Keonse's idea. Oh, she's my woman, you know. She was all, change the name and you go, girlfriend. She made me that banner. Man, the kids cannot get enough of those samurai dogs. Um, something about that just seems wrong. <laughs> oh, and guess what? We're getting a ton of customers here at the lake. What with the big news? The big news? Yeah, Gordy. G Gordy? Oh, yeah. Has Maya not been told yet? Um, what's Gordy? Huh? You mean you don't know? It's here, in this very lake. A giant, mysterious monster. Gordy. A monster? Yeah. Check it out. This is an article from yesterday's newspaper. There's a photo. Wow, it's r really real. Yeah, give me a close-up of that. Interesting. That does look weird. Yes. Hot news! Giant life form appears in Gord Lake. A hey, gibberish. <laughs> Nick, a monster, a real monster. Um, yeah, it's probably just a log or something. Probably, right? Who knows? I I could buy Gordy being real in the Phoenix Wright universe. Hey, there's a quote here from the person who took the photo. Gordy's the witness. I'm kidding. Hmm, what's this? I set the camera to automatic, and when he when we got into the frame. I heard a loud bang, like an explosion, followed by the sound of something slipping into the water. Okay. I wish I could have seen it. Why would there be a sound like an explosion? Larry, could I borrow this article from you? Sure, no problem. That'll be one million dollars, sure guy. What, one million? Grow up, Larry. Okay. Did it give us a date on that? No, it didn't. Damn. Okay. This is a weird case. I, I like all the returning aspects of it, though. We're playing a lot more with people we know. And it's nice to see Larry come back. Lot is a lot of fun. We have a lot of, like, emotional moments with Edgeworth and Gumshoe. I'm really digging this so far. This is good stuff. Um. So, yeah, Lada's gone. Larry's just being Larry. You know, he's he's living like Larry. Uh, we can go to the boat rental shop. Is anybody here now? No, of course not. Okay. Uh, Gord Lake entrance. Nobody's here either. 
Uh, is Edgeworth back out? No? Okay. Right and kill law offices. Anything new? Yes. What is it? Oh, nothing. Just something's been bothering me. Could you show me that autopsy report once more? Hey, I, I remember now. This guy, who is he, Maya? He's a lawyer that was at the office Mia worked at. At Grossberg, right? I met him once when I went there to hang out with Sis. That office? Wait. Yeah, it's Grossberg. I can't believe I remember his name. Goddamn. You mean Grossberg's office? Right, that guy. That was the last name I expected to come up. Me too. Uh, that's like the most inconsequential character we've had so far. Maybe I should go talk with him for old time's sake. Well, I guess the most inconsequential character we've had so far was Winston Payne. I guess. Um. Okay. Grossberg. You still haven't replaced your painting, huh? Or gotten it back or anything? <laughs> ah, that old familiar clearing of the throat. I don't remember what voice I gave it, so I'm just gonna go for it. <laughs> you and me is something, are you not? I was here. I was her understudy. Yes, Phoenix Wright. <laughs> and you and me is something too, are you not? Her little sister, yet? Yes. You've grown. You've come to look a lot like your sister, you know? It takes me back. Ah, oh, the days of my youth. <laughs> like the scent of fresh lemon. You see. Um, Mr. Grossberg, Mr. Grossberg, sir? Hmm? Ah, oh, yes, I beg your pardon. Of course you came here to discuss something. What is it then? Something the matter? Uh, yes. Hey, um, that painting is still gone. Mr. Grossberg, whatever happened to that painting? Oh, yes. I do not think it shall ever be coming back home to this office. I can't exactly claim it as stolen. I suppose it's just my dessert. It's my just desserts. Old, bitter desserts. Alright. There was a murder last night. A murder? You haven't heard? I, er, just got up, you see. Well, Miles Edgeworth shot someone with a pistol. Edgeworth? What? Wh who did he shoot? Well, the identity of the victim is still unknown. Th this is terrible news indeed. I guess he hasn't heard anything. Um... Can I present him... a person? We also don't have the victim in here yet. Uh, a lot of heart is age 20, tw age 22. Claims, claims to be a research student. Interesting wording. She's camped out to photograph shooting stars. That's not true. She totally came for Gordy. Um, a friend and former classmate, also my first client, often the cause of trouble. Yes, okay. Um, is anything going on with you at all? Solid mahogany desk, the wood's been polished to a deep luster. Hey Nick, I want a desk like that in our office too. I don't know. I don't think I'm ready to sit at a desk like that yet. <laughs> huh? I meant for me. You'd better start saving your allowance then. <laughs> Why is the wall there a different color? A big painting was hanging. Oh yeah, Maya hasn't been here. At, at least not recently. She was as a kid, she said. A big painting was hanging there until recently. Huh. What happened to it? Uh, well, he gave it to someone. I bet he gave it to some romantic interest? No. Love blooms eternal, Nick. Uh, yeah. An expensive potted plant. No idea what kind of plant it is, but it's probably the most expensive one available. I think our Charlie is cute. Really? Damn, we're throwing that back. Right, he's a really cute plant. A table for clients. Hmm, an elegant ebony case, and if I'm not mistaken, that lighter's made of solid gold. Even I can tell someone here's got money to burn. We should put things on our client table, too. I'm not really into smoking. We could put out candy or gum. Classy. <laughs> All right. Expensive-looking mahogany bookshelves filled with expensive-looking books. Hmm, funny. They don't look like they've ever been read. Well, then let's take them back to our office. He won't miss them. Uh, we don't need them. Then can we take that wooden bear? Hmm, it's kind of cute. Is that a bear? Well, I guess it's a bear with a fish in its mouth. I always thought it was like a boar with, like, tusks or something. I guess that makes more sense. It is kind of cute. <laughs> okay. 
Um... I can ask you who... Yeah, there we go. Hmm? Strange. I feel as though I've seen this man somewhere before. Ah! Oh, did you remember? He was a lawyer, here in my office. That's Hammond. Robert Hammond. Mr. Hammond. And if you say this if you say this is the man Miles Edgeworth Miles Edgeworth shot? I guess so. Who is Miles or Miles Hammond? Robert Hammond. Who is this Hammond guy anyway? Mr. Hammond. He was the defense attorney in that case. That case? Yes, the Oh yeah! That's a loose plot thread we haven't finished yet. The DL6 incident. DL6? Why does that sound so familiar? I completely forgot about that. That's the case where the police tried to, like, get Mia and Maya's mom involved to contact the victim, and then that, like, completely fucked over her career and, like, the credibility of the police because Mr. White was a shithead, so it was never solved. Right? That's what that's that's what I remember from it. I don't know if we have anything else more to it than that. Perhaps you remember. I'm sure someone mentioned it during the trial for Mia's murder. That was the incident where the police were so at a loss they used a spirit medium. Yes. Wait, you don't mean Was that medium my mother? Yes, my dear. The spirit medium, Misty Fay, your mother, contacted the spirit of the victim. But the case was a loss. No conviction was made. And I mean... It obviously, it's obviously been longer than three days, so... The DL6 incident, yes, happened 15 years ago. A very strange case indeed. They never caught the criminal, right? That's how I got. They never caught the criminal, right? Correct. Misty Fay used her powers to talk to the spirit of the late victim. Her testimony led to charges being laid against one man. But Mr. Hammond won the case, and the suspect was declared innocent. Okay. Interesting. And the police blamed my mother, calling her a fraud. You were the one who helped her out then, right, Mr. Grossberg? Er, uh, yes. Yes, quite. Thank you. N no please D don't mention it. DL6. Never thought I'd hear that name again. But wait, what does that case have anything to do with Mr. Edgeworth? That's a good point. It has everything to do with Mr. Edgeworth, my dear. The victim in the DL6 incident was none other than his father, Greg Gregory Edgeworth. Shit. Okay. So, that is a really, really solid motive for murder. Damn. Yikes. Wh what His father? If you want to know more, you should ask him yourself. Show him this. I'm sure he'll talk to you. Wait, this is a photograph of my mother. We're getting deep. This is gonna be a big case. I'm ready for it, man. Woo! Okay. Edgeworth, my guy, talk to me. What's this? That was a voice crack. I was hoping you'd gotten my message the first time. Edgeworth, what about your defense? It's no concern of yours. Guess he hasn't found anyone anyone yet. Can I ask you about the murder? Right. I'll ask you again. Just leave me alone. Please try to understand. I'm not doing this to prove I'm tough or because I look down on you. I just don't want you anywhere near this case. Understand? Even you're confident you won't win. And you want to protect me from it, right? An old friend. Why did you go to Gord Lake? I have no intention of telling you. Nor apparently would you tell Detective Gumshoe. Detective Gumshoe was really worried about you. Hey. 
talk to me. Edgeworth. It's only been a matter of hours since you last visited. Yet you've made incredible progress in your investigation. I'll admit it, I'm impressed right. You were always single-minded in your work, though. Once you start on something, you always see it through, don't you? About the DL6 incident. Right. DL6. I didn't want you to find out about it. That is why I refused your offer to defend me. I'm sorry if it sounded like I thought you weren't up to the job. I just wanted to keep you away from DL6. So, do you still think it would have been better for me to stay away? I don't know. But, I see no point in hiding anything from you now. Very well. Ask whatever you like, and I will answer you to the best of my abilities. Okay, dude. Tell me. The DL6 incident was when my father died. Damn. Okay. Right before my eyes. He was shot and killed, and I saw it all. My memories from that time are... foggy. I suppose it's a self-defense mechanism. In any case, a suspect was arrested. A man. It's pretty clear he was the only one who could have killed my father. The spirit medium they used to talk to my late father said the same thing. It was an attorney by the name of Robert Hammond that cleared the suspect's name. We're not going to get any info on who the suspect is? And Hammond is the victim in the Gord Lake murder. Correct. Um, that spirit medium, that was my mom. What? You mean your... It's strange. I thought that terrible incident was about to end, and now... This. About to end? The DL6 incident happened 15 years ago. 15 years ago, on December 28th. December 28th? The statute of limitations on the case runs out in three days. What? Okay. So... In the next three days, holy shit, I'm realizing what that means. In the next three days, we're gonna have to... <laughs> we're gonna have to prove Edgeworth innocent of this and also solve the DL6 incident, right? Is that what we're leading up to here? Um, Nick, what does that mean? When a case's statute of limitation runs out, legally, that case never happened. Three days from now, DL6 will be closed forever. What the hell? Who was the suspect? What happened to the suspect? The one who got off innocent? I don't know. He disappeared from public view. Nobody where- nobody knows where to. If he's still alive, he'd be about 50 years old now. I guess I can understand why he'd go into hiding. It'd be hard to live a normal life after being a murder suspect in such a big case. Your father. Um, so was your father a lawyer? He was. Gregory Edgeworth. He was quite famous at the time, apparently. So you were sort of trying to follow in his footsteps. I'd rather not talk about it. I understand. Okay, man. Your attorney's badge. I can't say I really wasn't... I can't say I really want to see one of those right now. Damn it. Let me defend you, Edgeworth. Oh my god. This is a really long investigation period. Um, I was going to try to finish this investigation period this episode, but it's turning out like real, real long. So I suppose I will see you all in the next episode of Let's Play Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Blind. This is a fascinating case. This is much much deeper than anything we've experienced up till now. We're really coming full circle with a whole lot of things, and I'm excited for it. Thank you all for watching this episode of Let's Play Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Blind. I've been Guildmaster Wiggly. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving it a like. If you are new, consider subscribing. If you want to follow my Twitch, Twitter, or join my Discord, they are in the description, and I hope to see you all in the next one.